Apple just announced their first Apple Silicon computers after several years using Intel processors. In today's video, I'll tell you everything announced at Apple's One More Thing event that took place on November 11th. Before we get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So starting off, the main focus of the event was the M1 chip, the first Apple processor for the Mac. They talked about its 8-core CPU that delivers highest performance they have ever built, 8-core GPU for great graphics performance, 16 billion transistors, neural engine, and more. Apple said that macOS Big Sur was made for the M1. It has better performance, power efficiency, which results in improved battery life, and it makes everything faster, better, and more secure. At the event, Apple also announced the macOS Big Sur release date, which was announced back at WWDC. This is one of the biggest macOS updates, and it brings several iOS 14 elements and features to the Mac, like the widgets, the Control Center interface, updated iMessage and Maps, new Safari, Notification Center, improved performance, new design, and a lot more. macOS Big Sur will be available on November 12th. Now, talking about the computers, the first Apple Silicon Mac released at the event was the MacBook Air. It has up to 8-core CPU that is up to 3.5 times faster than the previous generation, 8-core GPU that delivers up to 5 times faster graphics, advanced neuro engine that results in up to 9 times faster machine learning, and the battery life can go up to 18 hours. Talking about the price, the new MacBook Air starts at $1,000. At the event, Apple also released the new Mac Mini. Just like the new MacBook Air, the main difference is the M1 processor, which brings three times more CPU performance, up to six times faster graphics, 16-core neural engine that brings up to 15 times better machine learning, which allows you to work with heavy softwares, play and create using the Mac Mini. The new Mac Mini starts at $700, and as expected, the third release was the 13-inch MacBook Pro. There was no change in the design and not in none of these releases, including the MacBook Pro. The M1 brings more power, better graphics, and once again, advanced neural engine for up to 11 times faster machine learning. One thing that I enjoyed was related to battery life, which can last up to 20 hours, the longest of any Mac ever according to Apple. Besides, all the new Macs have now support for Wi-Fi 6, which is the next generation of Wi-Fi, and it is a lot faster. I was surprised to see that for some reason, Apple didn't really comment about it at the event. Talking about the price, the 13-inch MacBook Pro starts at $1,300. All the Macs will be available on November 17th, and pre-orders start today. I would say that overall, the biggest announcement was the M1 processor, which provides better performance and efficiency to the Macs, which results in better optimization between hardware and software. The M1 also brings more apps to macOS, and the new Universal platform will also allow apps to support both Intel and Apple Silicon-based Mac systems. However, besides that, these Macs did not have any design upgrade, and there was no other release like the long-awaited AirTags, for example. I confess that I was a little disappointed after watching the event. I was hoping for a little bit more. Please let me know down below if you agree with me or not, and if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.